Hey, hey, how are doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Oolong Fallen Dynasty boss guy. And today we are going to be taking on Sun Jian. I think that's how you say his name. Anyways, the the tiger boss. <laughs> so those are my equipment setup, and here are my stat distribution. If you guys are interested, and yeah, let's get on with the boss fight. Okay, so in the beginning of the fight, he'll either do this double tail spin or rush attack, and I'll show you guys that in a bit when he does it. Tail flip attack and parry it or block it. Double swiping attack followed by the tail stab. That move has so much combos. It can do double, like double swipe with tail, double swipe plus another double swipe, or double swipe backslash. <laughs> you guys will see them all in a bit. I'll show uh, different clips of it at the end of the video. So, yeah, after a double swipe, you know, expect a third hit or a fourth hit. Uh, if it doesn't do it, then you can, you know, use your heavy attacks. If it does do, like, a stab or a back hit or another double swipe, then get ready to parry or block those. Red attacks, it's got the tail delay slash. It's, um, it's a grab. Basically, like, kind of like Lubu's, uh, spear rush grab attack. It has a delay, so be careful. Another red attack that I can do, it's a claw attack, and you guys will see that in the fight as well when we get to it. Keeping some distance here. Get a few hits in. Alright. Oh, missed the parry, I actually dodged it instead. If you're behind him, it'll do like that one tail swipe, okay? Just to kind of, like, for the boss to reposition. So, yeah, see, it does that. Don't worry about it too much, there's no combo. Oh, by the way, when you drop its health down around, I guess, 50%-ish or 60%, it'll have that new move. That's the rush attack, by the way. And that's the backslash. Here's the red claw attack. We parry that. Pretty easy to parry. Like, it's probably easier to parry than the tail slash or the tail grab. Uh, here comes the rush. The rush attack, you can just parry by uh, deflecting into him. So that that rush attack, it can it can start the fight off with that, or the tail spin. This is a new move that it gets um, once his HP is below 50%. It's, it stabs his um, tail onto the ground and it spins towards you. The spin hits twice, so be careful. All right, you can parry that or block that. The confusing thing to parry, it's probably gonna be the claw. Oh, and here's the stomp attack. This one, I don't know if you want to block it because it, it takes a lot of like, it builds up a lot of the stun meter on your end if you block it. So be wary of the stomp. Alright. And it does, this boss does have double red attack combos. It does, unfortunately, it's not going to get to do it here, but I will show clips of it doing it. Oh, that spin, the double spin attack towards you, uh, it can follow up, it can combo with the. Uh, the back tail flip. So it flips backwards and then stabs tail to the ground and then it spins towards you. That's the combo, okay? Yeah, this this boss has a lot of freaking combos. But it's dead. Okay, so here's gonna be the double claw combo attack. See, it just does it twice. And here's the claw combo followed by the backslash attack. And here's the double red attack. So tail going in and then claw. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this boss, guys. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped. And if it did, hopefully you all will stay tuned for more. But until next time, I hope to catch you all later. Oops. Oops.